you guys have done is, it's not just improbable, it's impossible. You guys have done the impossible. And nobody's ever going to be able to take this away from you. And I, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for pouring so much into my life. Because it's been a, the best year of my life. And it's been the joy of my life to coach you. in-game action for the first time. Melton makes the decision, floats it for the tight end, Aikens, touchdown! A spectacular opening drive to a season filled with so much promise. Going deep, looking for his deep threat, and Traquan Smith, a big play receiver, makes another big play. 177 pound quarterback kill you with time and space. That's how he does it. Fires over the middle and another touchdown. The true freshman Gabe Davis catches the third Mackenzie Milton touchdown. Looking there for the first time. Trouble, not a chance. Not a chance. So no brand coming to UCF for him. Man. Richardson, the cutback, and the freshman is in for a touchdown. That's what a 240 40 pound bag looks like right there, coming in full steam. Design quarterback run, and Milton has a first down and a chance. What kind of speed have you got? Milton still in bounds, down to the 20. Anderson. What is doing? Anderson with a foot race down the right sideline. Out of bounds inside the 10. Most impressive run for Otis Anderson, 45 yards. Nelson goes in motion. It's Killens on the carry. Breaking free. Working on Adrian Killens. Up to the races. Nobody is going to stop this guy. Touchdown, UCF. We've only played three games. And as we know, Florida was so impacted by Irma. Uh, and you all lost not one but two games. But there is conversation about the possibility of being uh, the non-Power 5 school playing in a New Year's Day game. I, I understand focusing on day-to-day, -day, but as you look at your team, what has to happen between now and potentially that date to get you there? We have to keep getting better every week. I, I don't think we've played a great game on offense yet. Uh, I think the defense has been good but still has room for improvement. Um, you know, there's a lot of games between now and then. I'm flattered that people are starting to mention that about UCF. Um, that's, that's why our coaching staff is here, to try to get UCF to that point, and I feel like we're moving in the right direction. Four wide. Milton down the field and wide open, and that's busted coverage. Snelson's going to score. From 54 yards out, the Knights on fire on their first possession. Back now to live action. Milton flings it deep. Smith is open and he's got it. Traquan Smith. Just like that, the night strike once again from 79 yards out. Jets decided to dial up some pressure here. Jet sweep Williams. He had an expanded package tonight, and Marlon Williams stays alive. And there goes number 17. All the way inside Cincinnati territory. Perry Young finally brought him down. That's a gain of 47. It came out okay, though. Play action again. The pump fake looking deep. Breaking wide open is Traquan Smith for the easy touchdown. Scott Frost, of course, the offensive coordinator at Oregon. Over the middle. Milton down there wide open. It's Aikens. Touchdown. UCF. 48 yards. This is Quay Johnson. Oh, and there's Buster at the 21-21-7. We'll see you at halftime. Our Verizon halftime report wide open. Down the middle. That's Cam Stewart. Get down at 10. Circus hit. Short throw. It's picked off. That is Trey Neal to the 10. To the house. Trey Neal touchdown. Back to the rubber or back to second base. Williams in the backfield. Oh, he's got some space. Makes the hole. Carries Sean Williams into the end 
Governor 42 yard line. Three receiver set. Milton's going to throw. Fires off his back foot. Downfield. Snelson catches it for the touchdown. Number two tonight for Dredrick Snelson. Scott Fox football team goes to 7 and 0 oh for the first time in school history. a UConn blitz, a pass over the middle to a wide open Smith, who takes off looking for a blocker outside, and he's in for the touchdown. They back him up, no problem. 41-yard touchdown, Milton to Smith. Right through the middle, Eddie Hahn, the linebacker with a missed tackle, and this is an opportunity for a big game-breaking play. Down the sideline, inside the 10, and into the end zone. Touchdown, UCF. We've got another unbeaten team here on this field as UCF deep throw right into the hands of Traquan Smith. Back shoulder throws. Now Milton's got all day to run and let this play get set up. That might be a catch. Smith was out of bounds before he was able to attempt this unbelievable catch. The receiver 
It's forced on the bail by the defense. We established. Now what the defense has done this year as well. And there it is, an interception over the middle. Pat Jasinski leaping in front of the new tile pass. Plays on the football at one point today. Ball comes loose, and UCF falls on top of it. Griffin. Temple takes over here after the punt. New tile on the run, throws into traffic, and he's picked off for the second time today. Scoring opportunity for UCF. They're set up with great field position. And perhaps not the case. They'll need to salvage it. Into one-on-one -on -one coverage. It's another turnover. Griffin's got it coming the other way. His big day continues, and he stops shy of midfield. championship game as the champions of the Eastern Division and the war on I-4 did not disappoint. It's a blur. I'm going to have to go back and watch the replay to remember what happened uh, in, down the stretch there. Um, one thing I admire about our guys is they don't lose their cool. We're playing uh, at our best right now. In football since 1912. Here's Milton. Found a soft spot in the defense. It's Snelson again. Snelson to the end zone. There's our Of course, his twin brother is already in the NFL. It's Seattle. Otis Anderson ripping off huge yardage, and he has just slowed up enough. Play the Texas Rangers farm system. Here's Milton lofting off. It's Higgins again. And it might as well be a home run. Here's McKenzie Milton. Got him in down the sideline. It's perfect. It's Traquan Smith, and it's another touchdown for UCF. Always in red zone. Get off the field on third down. Here's Milton right up the middle. Plenty of green, and he's got a touchdown. Oh, and he'll throw the ball this time. And Smith got it. Traquan Smith. Ejected for targeting. That's played a role as well. There's McKenzie Milton.
15. Ferguson to throw. Good time. Man wide open for the touchdown. Who else? Anthony Miller. Three receivers topping the screen. Milton is going to pitch to Killens. Turns the corner. Gets there. Touchdown. On the ground. Otis Anderson trying to find the second hole there. There's the indication for the touchdown. Ferguson, pressure, throw, intercepted. It's intercepted, that's your ball game. Trey Neal on the pick. I don't know what to feel. I'm so happy for these guys. Uh, hey, that's impossible what they've done. And uh, I'm glad I could help them do it. I've, we've given them a lot. They've given us even more. See, obviously, very emotional right now. What's going on? What, what are you thinking? Uh, I want to go celebrate with my team. to this game. Uh, these players have poured their hearts out to try to accomplish a lot this year and it's a group that is special in a lot of ways. Tremendous experience for me, for our football team. Uh, we're delighted and honored to be here. Uh, some of the things that we've got to do as a team this year are, are special and this bowl, bowl game ranks right up there with them. And UCF, their quest for perfection is one step from completion. Today in Scott Frost's final game as the head coach of the Knights. Did him under pressure, throws it, intercepted! I don't know if he was trying to throw it away or what. But UCF is 24 seconds away from perfection. Perfection. Wow. New Year's Day 2018. A day that that coach, those players, and this program will never, ever forget.